Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for software and tech tutorials made simple. In today's video, we are diving into Data IQ, the powerful end-to-end -end AI and machine learning platform that's changing how businesses handle data from raw data sets to fully deployed predictive models. Whether you're a data analyst, data scientist, or a curious beginner, we will walk you through the essentials from loading your data and creating visual recipes to training models and deploying projects all without writing a single line of code, unless you want to. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI with an intuitive and collaborative tool, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is visit the official website of Data IQ. On the top corner, you have the option to log in using your credentials. But the better option is to sign up for a free account. Okay, all I have to do is choose the following accounts to make the sign up easier. You can use your Google or your GitHub, or you can use your business or even your work email. And then you will be forwarded here on the welcome page and to get started you need to create your data iq space the space name is going to be um our youtube channel i'm gonna click the create my space and after that we will be forwarded to the main dashboard again if you are having issues accessing the uh, data iq website you might want to use a vpn right as you can see um it's beginning to provide our customized workspace and it takes a little time. You want to make sure that you are connected to an active and stable internet connection. And then right off the bat, you will be forwarded here in a very clean and intuitive platform. As you can see that the overview here is going to be kind of like the first section where it gives us a... Um, total look of our dashboard okay and the data iq solutions are going to be the pre-built templates and accelerators designed to solve common business problems you see there's going to be an option here that says add a data iq solution i want you to click on it so that you can include workflows and even dashboards from the sample data sets to help teams or your organization get started quickly it will take you into this right here you need to filter the items. Now, you can create your first project or follow a learning project or import a project depending on your preferences. If you have already experience with a data IQ, I suggest you use the import the project or if you're working with a collaborative team of freelancers and with their client. But in our case, we're going to use the create your first project. And again, we can use the following um, name here. Let's say project name is this project key is this and let's the create the new project we will be forwarded here we have the sandbox the master and the flow plus the lamb now here's the fun part for you to import your first data set you need to click this and you choose from your options you can upload your own files you can search and import using sql cloud storages nosql social nd double s if you are not sure where to begin, just skip it for now because what we can do is go back to our first project and go to the dashboard wherein we have all this information right here because this is a newly created account. We don't have anything yet. But if you want to create a new dashboard, all right, let's click that. And from here, we can create our new dashboard by adding a new tile. So you can add tile to your dashboard, for example, data set, discussions, chart, maybe metrics. It's up to you. If you want to upload an image, let's do that and then upload the image right here. Now our file is updated. If you want to add a new uh, file, for example, a chart. Okay, so um, let's say pick existing insights and do with that. So we have that covered already. We're going to go back again to the save and continue right now. And then we're going to go back to the extensions. All right. Now, with the extensions, you can add have an add-on packages that expands Data IQ's capabilities. If you click the add an extension, you have the nodes, code environments, network connectivity, compute encoding, and 
double sh integration now these are apps and dashboards that can be reusable components so i think of them as the plug and play tools that enhance productivity or introducing new ui elements for example if you want to add an api node just click on the add here so that it will be added to enhance productivity right it takes a little while but once it's there you can introduce new ui element now the plugins add custom functionality often contributed by the community or third parties that means if you click the add a new plugin you will be forwarded here including um an option for you to add an image annotation to data sets time series preparation amazon comprehend nlp data proc clusters google cloud vision and there's a lot all right so here you can install any of them to fit your organization specific needs all right it's up to you you have from the connector machine learning until data preparation supporting coverage like tier to support okay you may notice that you have 162 in store for the plugin installed is zero obviously right now and we have the development and if you want to write your first plugin you can do that as well without any problem now let's go back to the connections the connections manages all data connections to external sources like sql databases cloud storage if you click the add connection you will be forwarded wherein you can configure access credentials and test connectivity for polling and pushing data all right if you want to add new connection you can do that it's very simple but i'm gonna skip that for now because there's more important part of the data iq that we are going to cover which is going to be the code envs or code environment wherein you can define the python r or other language environments your data iq instant uses these environments you can enable custom environments here so that you can have packages libraries and dependencies for running notebooks recipes or models all right if you want to enable you can do that and of course it ties very well with the audit trail now these offers a log of all users and system in environments it helps with security compliance and debugging by recording what changes were made when and by whom all right the usage and monitoring gives you an insight into the platform usage number of active users job execution resource consumption project activity which is i find it very useful for tracking performance and optimizing infrastructure now you also have the users profiles and groups plus the subscription plan if you feel that data iq is going to be the platform that answers your business needs you might want to go here right now we're using the uh, discover um free plan but if you want to scale up you might want to go to the business okay and the enterprise all i have to do is talk to one of the sales experts so that they can offer a tailored fit solution depending on your budget needs and goals all right and with that being said and that's a wrap on our walkthrough of data iq so if you're looking for a collaborative end-to-end -end platform that brings together data analysts engineers and scientists data iq is a top contender it's a blend of code free options and support for advanced scripting gives you the best of both worlds from importing data cleaning it building machine learning models to deploying predictions data iq offers an intuitive interface with deep capabilities whether you're a beginner or a data science pro if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and do not forget to like and subscribe for more tech tutorials just like this one if you have any questions about data iq or want to see a deep dive on a specific feature drop a comment below would love to hear from you thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video